I actually feel bad for Gohan. This kid has gone through a lot before the Boo Saga ever happened. Like, oh, I'm sorry. He just hit my microphone. Sorry if you heard that. But, man. So oh, my bad. I was supposed to get food. Wait a minute. Hold on. Um. All right. But anyway, uh, just looking to see. Uh, is this it? Wait. I, I heard you. I'm just the map's confusing me. I thought I was going the right way. We'll get there. But yeah, this kid has gone through so much. At first, I used to always give Gohan slack for not wanting to fight and stuff like that. But after I was like rewatching a lot of Dragon Ball Z show episodes, and I feel for him. But I forgot how young he was fighting the Ginyu Force and Nappa, uh, Bojack stuff like that. All right, here we go. But yeah, that kid has been through a lot. And I give credit to Goku because... Uh-oh. Because he was pushing Gohan a lot, but when Goten came up, he could tell Goku backed off a little bit. It was like he learned from the Cell Saga when he fought Cell. Yeah, anyway, it, it did seem like Goten benefit, uh, benefited from Goku learning his lesson with Gohan. <laughs> Little twerp. Didn't go and get himself killed already, did he? Because has there ever been a moment where Goku pushed Goten like he did Gohan? I'm gonna have to whip this spoiled ball of tears into shape. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do Keep this. Keep about these guys. All right, at least we can get some of this XP. Actually, think about it. I could go around the whole map and just fight these little these uh, little guys and get my XP, but nah, it's fine. It's probably not gonna give me a lot of XP. Yeah, forty. Yeah, nah, we're good. We'll just keep moving. Wait, what's this? I forgot what this does. Hold on. Oh, you know this reminds me of a uh, Marvel Spider-Man Two. If you played it, there's a moment where you're gliding and you glide into this circle. It's kind of just like this. All right. I'm gonna look around just a little bit. I'm coming, Gohan. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm almost there. <laughs> what the hell are those things? That kid's probably got his hands full right now. Guess I'll have to take care of them myself. That's light work. All right. If I remember correctly, though, some of those side mission villains, like the ones where I'm about to fight them robots, if my memory serves me correctly, there were some of them that was extremely hard. I think they had some kind of glow on them. I think they were glowing red or something like that. I got to be careful for those. These, I think I'm good. We'll find out. I think I'm good with these guys. It's just the ones I believe that glow, if my memory serves me correctly. All right, it doesn't do as much damage as I thought. What the? I went to the other side hoping that he would have missed. Wait. Oh, of course you dodged it. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So you can't dodge some of this stuff. Next. What was it? Three spots? So now we got two left. But yeah, like even this situation here is like a little. What? How old is Gohan right here? Four? I think he was four years old in this spot here. Just the fact that you're four years old alone in this desert world by yourself, don't know your powers at all. You can't fly. You don't know your strength. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a lot of trauma with Gohan. And after it, it took a long time, but after a while, I finally understood and I laid off of Gohan because I used to give him so much crap because. 
he just would not fight. It seemed like every time he was getting ready to fight somebody, he had to get his power back from the Cell Saga and then grow past that. And it was like, you should be that way already, but he doesn't want to fight. That's one thing I just, I just told myself. This brother does not want to fight. He's been through so much as a kid. And my excuse was, I used to say, Goku went through a lot as a kid too. Yeah, but it was different. The way Goku was raised, the way Gohan was raised. On top of Goku being a pure-blooded Saiyan who loves the battles. You know, a little different. Gohan's, <laughs> Gohan's living situation and Goku's. Yeah, you can't really compare the two. And I used to do that all the time, though. I was guilty of it. I was guilty of it. All right, what's next? Oh, wait, we got one more. Yeah, one more. I love this open world setting. I look forward to playing the DLCs. Um, if I remember me correctly, they have a Bardock DLC, the tournament when Goku fought Piccolo, the androids, Super Saiyan Blue, and F Golden Frieza. I think that's all the DLCs, even though we got a ways to go, but still. Oh, and I think they have, um, is it true they got Future Trunks? I think that was one of them too. Future Trunks with a what, one arm Gohan. Dang it. I was trying to see if I can dodge him. Dang it. It's going to hurt. Oh, all right. I was hoping the special beam cannon would take it out. There we go. All right, that should be the last. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm trying to find a move where it doesn't push me back, where I can hit them back. All right, now let's go help Gohan. Wish it gave me a little bit more XP than that. I wonder, is there a way to get more? Like, is there a something an orb or something where i can get received more after every battle check on that little rug rat hopefully throwing him to the wolves toughened him up it didn't not yet i'm hungry i'm so hungry little brat we still don't have what it takes to fight the saiyans his latent power is our only shot <laughs> fine just this once, I'll throw him a bone. <laughs> I hate this place! I'm hungry! I want to go home! <gasps> apples! I found apples! Yay! Huh? Wow, it's kind of bright, for nighttime at least. Oh, it's the moon. Whoa, it's so big uh -oh. and round. This is the first time I've seen a full moon. <laughs> uh <laughs> it makes me think, so Goku and Chi Chi what? never had Gohan look at the moon for the first four years of his life? I don't remember this part of the manga, but in the manga, did Gohan ever turn to an ape against Goku? Like by accident, like this situation? I can't remember. I don't think so. Oh wait, I forgot how you fight these things. Hold up. Crap. Uh, how do you fight? How do you get away from their attacks? Wait, wait, like this. Oh my good. Okay, I need to. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to figure out how to... Can I get... Hold on, hold on. You know, one of the things that was a huge mistake was for Piccolo to remove the tail. I believe the tail would have definitely worked against the Saiyans. He lost a nice chunk of his power getting rid of the tail. And then, I mean, I would have preferred... Uh-oh, wait a minute. There we go. I would have preferred uh, Piccolo learn how to make a moon like how Vegeta did because that could be a huge advantage. You saw what Gohan did to Vegeta when he turned to the ape when his tail grew back. I think he should have just trained Gohan to just know not to look at the moon, a full moon, but to get rid of it? Nah, I don't think that was a smart idea at all. 
I wonder how much of the battle would have changed if Gohan never lost his tail. release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. That's right, the full moon! Imagine a kid had such a transformation in him. Must be a Saiyan blood. Looks like he needs a full moon and that tail of his to transform. Better get rid of it now. Now that that's taken care of, here's some clothes and a sword. I've got my own training to get to, so you're on your own again. If you can somehow manage to survive the next six months, then you will have earned the honor of being trained by the great Piccolo. You're gonna wish you'd never been born when I'm done with you. Hope you're ready. Yeah, I don't agree with that move, Piccolo. I love you, but removing the tail, I would've just kept Gohan. I would've just told him not to look at the full moon, but not get rid of his true power. <laughs> 